All right, so we're gonna frag up this anemone here. Uh, I've kind of annoyed it a little bit already, turned the rock up. Now, to get them off, I've heard people use ice cubes or point a power head at it, but I just prefer to rub the, the foot at the base, and the anemone will eventually get annoyed and start to peel back and kind of retreat. And if you just keep up with it, you can already see it's kind of the bottom here, he's already detaching a bit. Just keep up with it, keep going around, and it'll eventually all loosen up and try and get away, and that's when you can get them off really easy. But be prepared, this could take upwards of like 45 minutes. I've had them off, depending on the location. Some of them you can get them off in like 10, 15 minutes easy. Others, depending if they're like in a hole or something, it could take you almost an hour. So just bear with it, and good luck. I'll keep doing this, and check back. All right. So, we are about 12 minutes in, and it's almost fully off. I'm just going to keep making sure he doesn't reattach. Keep working your way around. There's like literally a sliver here. It's kind of nice too, because we annoy it and it shrinks right up, which makes it easier to cut. So, it's kind of a two for one. And there you go. green bubble tip and enemy but under these lights it's not these lights suck but uh yeah let's get them in the dish and get them over to be fried all right so now we're gonna cut this guy you're gonna use just a Alpha knife blade, nice smooth one piece. So that you get your enemy out. You want to kind of get them as flat as possible, like even. So even foot and even mouth. guys stink when you cut them open usually. So you're not going to press and you're not going to saw. You want to make one nice motion if you can. Or one and then one back. You want to try and get halfway through the mouth and you know kind of get the foot in half too. So that's why you want to make sure they're over top of each other. Nice and carefully. There you go, you got two. One cut feels a lot easier than a whole bunch of cuts if you're to saw. So let's get this guy back in the water and it'll kind of tighten it in on the wound and then heal itself over time. And you'll have two enemies, hopefully. Sometimes you lose one. Okay, so here I've already put the anemones back into the tank and I had placed them just to the right here and just left them there without flow on and they closed up on their wound and now they've walked to the bottom of that rock where that's where they originally were when I took them off I just tilted the rock back the way it was so they look happy and healthy and hopefully I'll have two enemies now instead of the one 